we're the first coaches when the off-season program starts for the rookies and, and the established veterans. We're the first ones that they see. So when everything starts for the new year, we're the coaches that see them first and get them started as a, the season starts and the new year starts. First and foremost is, is really teaching them their body, um, how to recover. That's probably the missing link in a lot. A lot of colleges are doing a great job in that. We're just taking it to the nth degree. Also in how we train, right? So how we start the season and how we prescribe to each guy. Each guy is different. So certain guys are stronger than others. Certain guys have mobility issues that need to be addressed. Some guys don't. So it, that's our chance to really kind of dive deep underneath the hood of the athlete and see where they're at. Create some individual programs to teach them where they can get stronger, keep their strength strong. My name's Ricky Ng, Performance Nutrition Director for Las Vegas Raiders. As nutritionists, our goal is to fuel for performance and rehab for these guys. So as part of that integration with medical, with strength and conditioning, we want to make sure that we're maximizing on fueling our athletes through whole foods, supplementation, making sure that they're ready to go when they're coming into the weight room and they're training with AJ and his staff. When they step out on the field with head coach, they're, we're going to make sure that they're fueled up. And that way, as far as game day goes, they're going to be ready to go because we've rehearsed, we've practiced a variety of fueling strategies for the guys. And then that way on game day, there's no surprises whatsoever. We know we're going to be practicing tactics that are going to work for them. Each guy is going to be individualized and they know specifically what they need to hit and achieve on game day. Inside the weight room, one of the other points of contact that we have with the athletes is the Gatorade fuel bar. So in there, that's where we stock up on the fuel that the guys need for pre-rehab, post-rehab, pre-practice, post-practice, anything in between. We're using technology to really coach guys up on individualization as well as developing consistency and understanding what they're putting into their systems. When we're looking at supplementation, we want to sit down with the guys on why are we choosing what we're choosing? What is the objective that we are trying to achieve in combining these supplements? So if we can continue to work with these guys to establish where the gaps are, we can st slowly start to fill these gaps in. And hopefully by the time we fill all of these gaps in with them, we're gonna have a more durable player. We're gonna have a player that can recover faster between sessions and really drive longevity with these guys' careers. All right, fellas, bring the pain. Here we go. We're out, fellas, let's go. That right foot is bent and on the floor. Left leg is straight now. So I inherited these guys when I came from Jacksonville um, and a great, great foundation of guys. Um, well, I'll start with DA. Uh, DA's played in this league. So right away, there's a little street cred right there. Um, and he's also worked his way very hard in terms of his education to get where he's at. So not only as a strength coach, but also uh, being a former offensive lineman, he can really connect with the big guys. Deuce Gruden is a professional power lifter. He still competes. He just competed this past spring, and it helps really bond us all together, seeing him in a different phase of strength and conditioning. Rick has a wealth of knowledge. This is a man who's won World Series in Major League Baseball. Um, he's had to deal with multitude of players from the major leagues all the way down to rookie ball and developmental leagues, but also different languages. So you're talking about a wealth of knowledge there over 25 years. Rotate the hip to the carpet, go back to the ceiling. You know, we all do kind of different things in here uh, in the weight room, but we also help out with nutrition as well. And we also help out with rehab. And we're all connected together. We're all one big athletic performance team and we all take a part in it. So connectivity between strength and conditioning and athletic trainers 
what we'll do is if there are guys that we deem to be higher risk or and guys that have a tendency to experience uh, game day performance issues, then what we'll do is we'll wanna take a look to see what are those culprits during the week. And what we'll wanna do is communicate and find out what some of those issues are. We'll have guys take a 3D tracking where they capture pictures of what they're eating, establish time frames for those feeds. And from there, what we can do is identify this is how the athlete is feeding. This is, these are some of the volumes that they are consuming. And, and this is what we're seeing. That's the opportunity that we have to educate guys on when they want to scale back on the amount of calories or the types of foods that they're having so that they can really promote recovery without a huge flux in their body weight or their body composition. And they can hold on to as much muscle during a period of inactivity. The test is really the first brick. The implementation of exercises is the second brick. Them getting better is the next brick. But where you go with those bricks is in that testing. So I'm gonna build over here on this guy because he needs it. I'm gonna build over here on this guy because he needs it more versus like mobility versus strength. So the brick is testing first and then we just keep going on. Now, as we continue, we always retest the team. We test them at the end of the off season program we test them just before training camp and we test them just before the beginning of the year and when we come back from our um, bye week we want to know where the status of the team is at number six i think the the biggest misconception is that when there's oh we're in the off season that we're off and it's actually our busiest time uh, there's a lot going on in that off season th uh, that leads up to where we're at today. So I think that's the biggest misconception that the off seasons were all off and it's not true. So there's a lot of rehab stuff that's going on. There's a lot of assessment of the new draft class. And there's also assessments of our guys as well. And then obviously it gives us a chance to do some continuing education for the guys that uh, you know, with like my therapy licensure, I gotta go do all that stuff and as well as our other guys. So it's fast, it's fast. There's not a lot of downtime. And even though you think there is, there isn't. You gotta optimize your time.